I'm here with Miss Madri Reddy, who is the owner of Woodhouse Spa. You've been open for three years, and I'm so, so, so excited to get a treatment today because it's very cold outside. But you, to be honest, are the original spa maven and the spa diva. So it's my pleasure to have you here. I've always been a spa diva um, all through my life, and I visited one of the top uh, spa luxury, spa, luxury spas, Canyon Ranch, Four Seasons, and always been a loyal guest to my own spa, to my to one of the spas in the town, which I so you always, thought yeah. why not start your own spa? Why not start my own spa? And then I ended up on the same luxury lines here. We go here it goes the Woodhouse Day Spa in Summit, mm -hmm. serving the community with health and wellness. But this really speaks to something that's a lot bigger, right? We're talking about self-care, which I don't think as Indian women, we're necessarily, we don't have that ethos drummed into us from a young age. That's true. Self-care to me is a part, it's very important. It brings out a lot of confidence who you can portray to the outside world, either being a mom or a wife. Are a making boss. that are, are a boss and making that atmosphere pleasure either at work or at uh, pleasant is either at work or at home is the priority to me in taking that self care at least once a month pamper yourself there is nothing wrong and then that gives that boosts the confidence and then I'll be much more relaxed. I mean, you show up in all the other roles you play in your life: That's mother, so yeah. um, sister, sister, wife. wife. Um, employer, employer right. in a much more confident, confident way. way. That's true. Three years you've been open and That's you've true. managed to keep traffic coming through the door. How do you do that? Presence in the community. The first thing I learned in Summit is to be a part of the community. I always a big believer in that. Um, being a part of the school fundraisers, community events, charities, and one of the very dear to me is the cancer. Um, and what and you have a cancer survivor yes. who comes in for a diva for the day treatment Treatments. and they get treated like a queen. That's right. Upon the walk of their arrival, we treat them with a fresh bouquet of flowers and then we'll walk them to the room, get their choice of treatment and they'll be served a special lunch and then um, at the end of it we make them feel that extra special. So, so it gives the self-satisfaction to all of us as well as to the person who's in the spa. Of course, of course. Um, it's so important to be entrenched in the community to, so for true. people to see your face and know that you care okay. about the community. I know you care about me because you are treating me today to something called a toasty marshmallow massage. Pray tell, how are you getting marshmallow into me? <laughs> the toasty marshmallow massage is two main ingredients that you will be pampered today. It's a marshmallow with tonka beans as well as you'll be treated at the end with a sandalwood lit rich lotion which leaves your skin silky smooth and soft. Well, I've been I've been a little crocodile-y given that it's been winter time so I'm happy for that and I know that Miss Pia Paulus is going to be your very next customer when you tell me about your last treatment that I'm getting today and it has bourbon in it? Bourbon in it and it has a pecan whiskey as well as a brown sugar which will be massaged to your feet. Oh so this is a mani pedi that this you're This is a mani pedi and it has that soft liquor sense of bourbon flavor which leaves your skin soft and it sets the mood for the season. Well I'm personally a scotch drinker but I might have to switch just for this particular treatment. Sure we would love to tell you here <laughs> and then pamper you today. <laughs> Madhuri Reddy who is the owner of several businesses here in New Jersey but but she is right now treating me at the Woodhouse Spa right here in Summit, New Jersey. Thank, Thank you, Madhuri. Thank you so much. It's my pleasure to have you here. <laughs> I hope.